Hey guys, um, welcome back to my True FPS tutorial series uh, and today we're gonna set up our gun attachment and the left hand AK so um, first of all um, we're gonna create a new folder called weapon and inside here I will create a new blueprint class and I will, will choose uh, actor class and then rename it to weapon base and then right click and I'm gonna create two try blueprint classes for this uh, weapon base and I will call it uh, weapon M4 and um, weapon AK alright uh, so uh, in the weapon base uh, we're gonna add a component and uh, we would we'll find the skelet skeletal mesh and I'll call it a weapon mesh and that's it so uh, in the M4 blueprint we're gonna change the skeletal mesh to the um, rifle skeletal mesh alright Compile, set, uh, and in the uh, AK uh, blueprint, I can change it to the to this skeletal mesh. Uh, compile and save, and then in the um, and in status pack uh, in the mesh folder uh, and uh, in the mannequin skeleton. Uh, we will create a new socket for our right hand so uh, alright so right click uh, S socket and, and I will call it right hand alright so uh, in the preview scene setting uh, I will choose I, uh, I know rifle I, I recite animation then I will uh, add a preview asset and then adjust the weapon to fit the hand alright so once you're done with this uh, we're gonna go back to our character blueprint and in the I will call the begin play and I will create a new function called uh, init weapon and I will also create a new variable called um, weapon and the variable type will be the weapon base we just created alright so in the init weapon we wanna spawn item from class and we gonna spawn the uh, weapon uh, you can choose between the two two blueprints, uh, either the AK or the M4. It uh, depends. Uh, so I'm gonna choose the AK and sp spawn transform. I will uh, call the get actor transform, and I will set the weapon variable to be the return value. And then attach the weapon to our right hand. So attach actor to component. So uh, attach uh, attach weapon to component. Uh, I will lock the mesh to the parent uh, property and the socket. And the socket name will be right hand. And the location rules will be snap to target, and same goes for the two remaining properties. So, alright. So, if I hit play, okay, nothing happened. Um, Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, so we have to call the uh, init weapon function here so as you can see the left hand goes off the uh, weapon so we have to find a way to snap uh, our left hand to the weapon okay so um, in our weapon uh, skeleton, uh, skeleton tree uh, we have to add a new socket and I will call it left hand placement alright so uh, so this uh, socket uh, uh, this socket will be where uh, we want our left hand to be snapped to our uh, weapon so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it uh, over here all right so in uh, our character animation blueprint we have to create a new function and I'm gonna call it uh, snap left hand to weapon right so we have to um, call the player reference and get weapon uh, and I will call the valid node just in case alright so from the weapon reference uh, we're gonna get the skeletal mesh uh, of the uh, weapon mesh. All right weapon mesh and from there we're gonna we have to get the world transform of the left hand placement socket so socket trans and um, I'm gonna copy and paste it in the socket name alright so from the player we have to get our mesh and then we have to call node uh, trans transform to bone space so basically we're gonna get the world transform of the left hand placement socket and transfer it into the relative uh, bone spy of the uh, of our character right hand right so I'm gonna split a pin and uh, connect the uh, location to the in location of this node and also the rotation uh, and then we're gonna create a new variable called uh, left hand gen transform and the uh, type will be the transform and then we're gonna drag here and uh, split the pin and then connect the out position to the left hand location and the out rotation to the left hand rotation and uh, we have to call the function in the event graph so don't forget about that alright so the last step uh, we can in the ending graph we gonna call the fabric Fabric node, uh, connect it here, and then connect it to the output. And we're gonna plug the left hand uh, transform to the effector transform, and and then the uh, effector target will be our right hand. Uh, this will be the bone space. Uh, the tip bone will be our left hand. Uh, and left. And the root bone will be our um, clavicle bone. So it will be uh, this bone. 
the precision will be one okay so um and also i will take the interp result and so we will have a smooth uh animation so uh i will change it to eight and eight all right compile and now if we hit play okay so um <laughs> Alright, so now our left hand is snapped to the weapon. So now we just need to uh, adjust the hand placement socket. So, uh, Alright, so this is the result of uh, using the uh, fabric node for our, for our left hand. So now our character uh, left hand is snapped to the weapon and it is looking good. So yeah, I will see you in the next video.